Well, what bugs me about Mars? Well, let me show you. This is what bugs me. Bugs. Now, if that's not a bug, you tell me what it is. We sharpen it up just a little bit here. If that's not a bug, what is it? A rock with hair on it? Or is it some kind of plant? Either way, uh, it's something. Now, if it was a rock, it'd be smooth like the rest of the rocks. And that's on Sol 8881. That's just out. Now, let's go back to Sol 43. Now, this is a picture NASA took. And that, you know, that this this is back in the days when they went over everything real good. Now, right there in the center, yeah, you know, you can't really tell what it is, but looks like might be a little bug there so they took some close-ups in black and white they took about five or six pictures of this and there you have it there's another bug so that's what bugs me so there that's two bugs on Mars so somebody tell me what kind of bugs are they? <clears throat> One thing you can notice about them is both of them have little stripes on their body. Now if you can't tell which one's the body and where the little heads are then you're probably just figuring these are rocks. Hairy little rocks. But if you take a serious look at both of these pictures here, these are bugs. NASA's probably shooting them out of the sky with their little laser beam. It wouldn't surprise me, they're pretty treacherous. And to show you just how treacherous they are, take a look at this. Now this is NASA's latest talking point here, telling everybody that they're checking this area out for the little grains of salt. They say that it's stuck in these crevices. And that proves there might have been water here. <laughs> well, I think we all know by now that there's been plenty of water up there. So this brings me back to something else I want to show you here. Now, when I darken this picture down, these white lines will stay white. They don't change colors. And uh, that's probably what makes me figure they are salt. They just stay white. But now a few feet away from here, not too far at all, you've got some another area with some some different kind of things going on here. Now this picture has some cracks in the ground with some stuff in it, but when you darken it down, it doesn't stay white. As a matter of fact, there's some <laughs> rocks around there that uh, shine a pretty bright gold, if you ask me. I'd say that's the difference between salt and some other mineral. 